Greetings and salutations, friends. It is Podcast Unlocked, episode number 72 on Happy September birthday. 20th. Thank you. You beat me to it. <laughs> now, now I don't have to look like a dick for saying, hey, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, number 32, meaning it's all over with. That's it. <laughs> They're not special anymore. 25 is like the last... Like when you turn twenty five, why right, is twenty five special? You can rent a car so oh, with no yeah, that's no really strings special. attached. Right. <laughs> hey, if you go, if yeah, if you want to go somewhere, it is. I've never rented a car in my life. <laughs> well, then you're. Uh, oh no! Wait, I did last year. You're a, you're you a wandering liar, Destin. You're maybe, <laughs> maybe you're just a wandering hobo who gets off planes <laughs> and just starts walking. I take you're a like, taxi. You're like Forrest Gump. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then and then like thirty is just like okay. Aren't thirties the new twenties? Let's I keep hope hearing so. that. Let's hope so. Yeah. I guess. I mean, that's just because you're Still old. a reason to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. I think. Maybe once you reach 50, That's then. just something you say when you're old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to celebrate with uh, Halo 4. We're going to just light the entire IGN website on fire with Halo 4 <laughs> We're going to burn down tonight. IGN to celebrate Halo we, we actually are. <laughs> um, by the time this makes this podcast makes it up, because I don't think it's going up today because... I'm super busy. I got to go to a birthday dinner, and uh-huh. apparently, we can only publish our podcast through some archaic system that I'm not familiar with. Oh yeah, that only Mitch holds the knowledge to. Speaking of, Mitch sounds very feminine today. What? Hmm. <laughs> What's that, Destin Legary? I forgot to intro. Is that a, is that a clever way of saying I forgot to introduce the two of you today? Yeah. Yes, Destin Legary and the uh, the esteemed, the lovely and talented Naomi Aww. Kyle joining us for her second appearance. Finally. At- Yes, because after the first appearance, everybody was like, more Naomi, we need more. So here They sounded you, like that. Yeah, yeah. Here, here you go, baby birds, I will feed you. That was just me, actually. <laughs> that was just yeah, Destin sorry. going, Creating, sorry about trolling that, the comments. Spoof accounts over no, and over again. No, it was me again. talking to Ryan at his desk. <laughs> oh. more, Naomi. more Naomi. Well, uh, I'm here. And here. I didn't bring cupcakes, but I will next time, I promise. Yeah, uh, you told so me. So Naomi's it. off the podcast. I, I, yeah. <laughs> You told me an awesome story about how uh, you got your fiance birthday cupcakes that were yeah. that had the Batman logo on them. Batman logo and Deadpool logo, so De- six of each. Got Marvel it. and DC represented. That's right. How they were pretty awesome. Good job, Nick. And Do, they were Does so he know good. how yeah. lucky he is? Does he's, he understand? He's really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if he's what listening, can I say? <laughs> you better get ready. For, that's she's gonna get an extra good Christmas present. You that's. You're angling for it. Yeah, yeah. That's you know iPhone That's five what I'm and for. <laughs> yeah. Just start start making that Christmas wish list. Oh, it's a long one. Uh, but yeah, no, we do have. But probably, like I said, probably by the time this podcast airs, if you go to the Xbox channel on IGN, it will be all Halo Four because I got to go up with our editor in chief Casey Lynch to Three Four Three Industries last week, mm-hmm. and we spent all day playing Halo Four. I know work is hard. Jealous. And, yeah. That sounds terrible, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> And we filmed and we played and we filmed some more and we played some more. And so, yeah, the we've got just all kinds of Halo 4 things really highlighted by we got to play the campaign for the first time. So that's the big wild card. That's that's the big can 343 Are we do see it. video of that? Tomorrow? We have video of it. Oh, yes. Minu- oh, minutes yes. and minutes of campaign footage. So you're just bragging for the rest of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I'm guessing people, by the time this comes out, though, people will be able to watch it shortly after. On, like this will come out. Well, yeah, in the exactly. Morning. So this, yeah. that sound you hear out there is millions of our listeners. Okay, we don't have millions of listeners, but let's just go with it. Hundreds, <laughs> thousands for sure. <laughs> Pressing pause on this podcast simultaneously to go to ign.com and watch watch our Halo Four stuff. Tens so, of hundreds of people. So uh, <laughs> now we'll, we'll allow them to, to go do that. And now that you've unpaused. Uh, what do we got? We have Borderlands Two is out this week. Oh, Destin, so good! Yes. Oh my god! Yeah, both so of good. you are freaking out. I love it. <laughs> Did, so, Destin, I know you went to a midnight launch, right? Yeah, on a whim. Which, uh, me and uh, Mike Aransky, one of our yeah. camera guys here, we went to the midnight launch. It was I a wasn't ton invited. of fun. You weren't at the office at nine p.m. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, he brought it up. I was like, you know what? I'm going to be here late. Let's do it. You know. And, cool. Uh, 
So where'd you we go there. down Union the, Square? Or? It, it looked Market. like a pretty place. They opened a new spot on Market. Ah, um, that's where it was. Yeah. So Market's a pretty. I don't know. It's an okay place. Busy. It just happened, looked right? new and, and big. Yeah. And so like it fancy. was. It was a new store. Yeah. So yeah, and I interviewed some people, and they were all really hyped, and it was a really fun, like uh, you know, sort of feel good piece. You know, talking to some gamers who love Borderlands Two and were hyped about it, and uh, yeah. I love that do. piece that you did. The, yeah. it, it is good. You should check it out. It's funny, you know, lines, everybody thinks, oh, God, I got to wait online for that. But mm-hmm. really, like, lines are fun. If you get the right circumstance, the right... Cause you it's got just, a group of friends yeah, all it's excited just a, about it's a the group same of, game. It's, it's a event. group of people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you just you have a good time with it. I mm-hmm. mean, I haven't done a line for something video game related Gosh, in a while. Too I long. for the Wii U. That's the, yeah. exactly. that's the next one up, yeah. no, November 18th, right? Yeah. So I'll be in line for that one. Um, oh, me too. Yeah. Let's do a feature. Are, you gonna do yeah. the same, are we in the same line now, these, you two? Are we yeah, pre-ordering at the same they're store? They're both at market. That's, yeah. They moved the store after we did our pre-order. They're like, we're shutting down and moving to market. We're shutting down today, and yeah. we're moving tomorrow. Yeah. Like. <laughs> so that's where our pre-orders are so, on market, like right up the street yeah. from IGN offices. Yeah. November 18th, or no, rather no, the evening of November 17th, mm-hmm. you can find Naomi, Kyle, and Destin Legarion yeah. mm-hmm. at the Market oh, Street we're EB have Games. A crowd. Yeah. We with, our, ta- with our millions of well, listeners geez, just listening the right now. Who, just the people who pre-ordered that day. There's like five of us going to that location. Yeah. Maybe not at midnight, but, you know, we'll be there. A lot of IGN members. Cool. Yeah. yeah so Fans have something it's, to- it's an impromptu yeah. IGN reader meet and greet. Yeah. Just find, find these guys in line. Tell them to have a good time. I, you know, I'm not quite jumping on the Wii U bandwagon yet. I know I will eventually mm-hmm. for the first party games because mm-hmm. I always do. I always end up buying the Nintendo console. So I forgot to pre-order Mass Effect 3 Wii U and I went back and got it. But you've Good. already played it six I million wanna, times. Yeah. I want to play through it on the Wii U. And not six million, just the once. It, <laughs> it does look cool with the, the handheld and everything. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm a sucker you play for it. Mass Effect stuff. I love that game so much. I see it in the store and I want to buy it again. <laughs> again I was like, oh, I again. love that game. <laughs> like, you just like, feel... I see the first one and I'm like, oh, because I have the limited edition. I don't yeah. have the normal one. I'm like, oh, is that a different you know version? Or so something you like just that? feel bad for it. In yeah. the store, like, Aww. oh, you're so lonely, you yeah. little Mass Effect. Why don't you come home with me? I'll adopt you. Yeah. Is that so, sort of how it goes? That is exactly how I sound, actually. I yeah. do yeah. that in the store. You're, it's uh, very in the awkward. Comments. You're like People the Mass Effect Humane Society. <laughs> Just rest, yeah. taking in strays. Send, send me any unwanted <laughs> Mass Effect things. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let's see. And I'll take them in, give them a good home. Yeah, but Borderlands 2 sort of was the... What I feel is the official kickoff of the holidays. If you listen to our yeah. interview with Randy Pitchford a couple weeks ago, yeah. he Which said, I loved. "Thanks." Yeah, yeah. It was, he was. God, he was a treat to it talk to. It was really to. cool, and the comments were very positive. About very cut, co- and we're up to like almost sixty thousand views on the on your awesome video version oh, really? on YouTube. Yeah, oh, nice. So people are digging that interview. But yeah, Randy was saying how no, actually, the sort of established holiday kickoff is Madden. But I don't know, just for me, I mean. It, that's still the summer. That's still no, August. Man, Borderlands too. Everybody is talking about it. Like yeah. people in the office, people outside of the office. My friends, like just friends who aren't in the industry at all, are excited for Borderlands mm-hmm. too. Everyone's it's just one of those got it right now. Beautiful like commercial games. It just screams like fun times and yeah, it is. It's, it's just yeah. fun and the writing's fun. It is. And it's and, like yeah, yeah Borderlands <laughs> too. Really it's it's like tickling a baby. It's just that like <laughs> yeah. It's just that perfect little. Exactly. Cadence. I started exactly. my new character on my home profile too. I'm level twelve. You know, I'm admittedly low, but I've beaten the game. So you know. Yeah. yeah when you were, you know how you totally were lying last week when you said you hadn't played it, except you played it all already. What yeah. are you talking about? As soon <laughs> as the, the embar- as soon as the embargo went up, obviously I beat it in the hour after the embargo went up. Yeah. So it, yeah. You did a speed run. <laughs> <laughs> speed yeah. run through the end. So. An hour to level thirty six. No doubt, everybody out there is enjoying their. Um, Borderlands 2 and so uh, sales prediction quickly first first month September NPDs what do you say Naomi how many copies oh I don't know uh, what, what's a normal like amount for a game to sell I don't, uh, I don't you can't heading it I'm, uh, don't 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 because that'll no? like give me a point of reference and then yeah All right, so do you give have... us give us another game like from a while ago that's how it's all right so one that comes to mind halo 3 came yeah. out in september yeah. back in 07 of course mm-hmm. that was a huge deal yeah uh, but it was only I, one, I one platform for, midnight for that one Th- that was 3.3 million copies okay in the okay. first first month so, okay um so for borderlands um two borderlands two uh, you'd give it two million no 
I'd say 1.1. 1. 1. I'm going to say 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1. Yeah, that's, I mean, again, because yeah. it did come out in the middle of the month. Mm-hmm. So it's it's only got like, it'll only have two weeks of yeah. sales on yeah. the on the September report. Like 1.1 1. 1. 1. is phenomenal. Yeah, like, I'm going to go with yeah. 1.4. Okay. That's I was going to say 1.5, so I'll stick to that. All right. I'll just go, I'll up Pri- you guys. Price is Right <laughs> style, <laughs> yeah. So you've taken the high bid, yeah. Naomi. Not the smartest move if we're playing Price is Right. Fortunately, we're not. So I got the low bid. You're in the middle. You're screwed. I am pretty <laughs> doomed. Yeah, but especially yeah, because she just went 1.5. Yeah, on me. closest yeah. without going over. <laughs> she could have been 1.41. That would have been a real jerk. Destin Legary, come on down. <laughs> what do we have for him? He could win a new car. Yeah. Except yeah, a coffee God. machine. A new car for the guy that never rents a car and walks everywhere <laughs> and takes some mass transit. <laughs> Have fun paying the taxes on the new car you just won. Yeah. You're not going to use. <laughs> yeah. Sell it. That's, uh, yeah, that's exactly. exactly everything they win on there. I'm like, just sell it. Cash value, yeah. baby. Yeah. Cash value. You don't value. want that, really. Just sell it. <laughs> all right. Let's come right back. We'll do some news. It's really all about the Tokyo Game Show this week and not mm-hmm. much else. That's where Mitch is, by the way. It's where we, everyone is this week. Yeah, we didn't just randomly put Mitch here and shut his mic off. He's not here. He's in Tokyo. Actually, that'd be hilarious if we did. That would be How's awesome. it going over there, Mitch? Tied up and gagged. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Far Cry 2. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Oh. <laughs> he's going oh, to punch me in the face for that. Yeah. All right be, right. be right back with the news. <laughs> IGN's Xbox 360 podcast. The podcast on love presents the news on love. He oh yeah, he left week. behind something there. A dr- a drawing. Did he drawing that? He always draws Ninja Turtles. That's mm-hmm. that's probably like I'll bet it's if you were to check really good. If you were to check his eighth grade desk in junior high, it would probably just like under the lid. You know, it'd probably just be a Ninja Turtle under there. That's how you'd find Mitch's desk from yeah. nineteen, actually two thousand. 10 that was when he was in junior high right yeah he's this not, is 2012 he's not bad the feet need a little work well he <laughs> i think he just kind of stopped halfway there i think somebody else did that yeah he they're, lost, they're he man his... feet not turtle feet all right so yeah it's all really about tgs which is kind of ironic for us considering microsoft didn't even bother showing up at tgs mm-hmm. they're like but we know. knew that back in july so. we did we yeah. sure did but that didn't stop third-party publishers well before we do that can we talk about the story i was talking about before we started recording no. What story is that? <laughs> this one. Oh, well, we'll get there, man. Oh, I don't want to talk about Jeez. <laughs> Just have a little patience. Nope. Just, you yeah. were pointing <laughs> at this one right here? One below it. Oh. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Exciting <laughs> listening for our Now audience. that you've built it up, our, our <laughs> listeners will be like, that's what he was dying to talk about? <laughs> yeah. All right. Fine. Do you want to do it now? Yes. Would it make Killer you happy? Instinct. Oh, I roll. Killer instinct. Take, <laughs> take it away. Again. Take it away, Okay, Destin. so I've been saying for years, Microsoft like has this, they own Rare and like Killer Instinct, like just release the first game with online support. You yeah. know, and I've been asking, like, hoping they do it for years. And, uh, you know, we haven't heard about Rare, like, besides making their sports games or, like, any of their stuff for a long time. And uh, the Killer Instinct trademark was renewed by Microsoft. And uh, we think it could be a new game or one of the XBLA ports that I've been hoping for forever. Well, the interesting part of this story was that Microsoft themselves mm-hmm. made a point to come out. Like, there were some rumors, and they actually came out. And for once, they weren't just like... We at Microsoft do not comment on rumors or speculation. Yeah. They actually said, like, yeah, yeah, we, yeah, yeah, we totally <laughs> renewed this. Yeah. Yeah. And they did it on their playxbla.com website, which is sort of their official uh, Xbox Live Arcade site. Mm-hmm. Which I wa- which so makes me wonder then, Destin, is that exactly what's what's happening? Is what is I, your scenario? Is they're taking so. the first game? Because mm-hmm. if this if they were going to be maybe making a full on Xbox 720 Killer Instinct, yeah. It probably wouldn't show up on playxbla.com, right? Yeah. Is that am I yeah. am I nuts? Am no. I making sense? You're right. <laughs> it's probably an arcade port like of the really nice looking one. It was a little glitchy the arcade version. Yeah. But maybe they're going to fix those little bugs up and uh, you know, now, give us some online. What I want to know is is this game really that popular or is it just one of those games that has sort of attained you cult heard, status over the years? You ever heard I, of I'm Mundo asking Rare? honestly. I'm not you trying to be You ever heard sarcastic. of Mundo Rare? Uh, it there, rings a there's bell. fan sites still dedicated to Rare. Like, Mundo Rare was oh, around yeah. until, like, a year ago, and the guy quit. Um, but, like, 
people love Rare and Killer Instinct, and there's still sites like about how to emulate it because like we don't have any way to play it now unless you Correct. have it on SNES. But to play the arcade version, arcade cabinets are super rare. I think hmm. there's still an audience for this, and I think it'll do well enough to. Uh, you know, warrant renewing the license and bring, putting it out there to the public. What? Let us know in the comments what you think about the yeah, Killer Instinct franchise. Mm-hmm. D- yeah, am I am I just underselling this, or is it is it really just Destin and like six guys wearing tinfoil hats? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we want a Killer Instinct. A friend of mine, Angel Rodriguez, will be very happy if this happens because we can play online and just beat the hell out of each other. So here's let me throw a couple of theories out for you guys. Number mm-hmm. one is are they going to do it as a Rezzed up, like, you know, new graphics treatment. It'll be port. the arcade version that doesn't look like crap. Right. Is it gonna yeah. be a is it gonna be a souped up arcade version arcade version for arcade as an as a launch game no. on the next console? Like a lot you know, for no. day one live arcade for Xbox seven twenty. No, it will not no? be. No. You don't think that's look, a look system at how seller? they look at how they've handled the old rare games and we're talking about an arcade game. We're not talking about Killer Instinct three. Mm. You know, if they launch Killer Instinct three, they'll put that on a disc and like launch that as a full title. Okay, you know, um, I think with Killer Instinct they're going to do an arcade version to get you hyped again, and then maybe at this point they will tease what you're talking about, like a Killer Instinct three or something. Well, no, no, that's that's actually that's what I'm saying is mm-hmm. it, f- li- for live arcade, a port of the first game for yeah. live arcade, yeah. but it'll be for live arcade on the new Xbox. That's what I'm. That's it'll what I'm be suggesting. current gen. You think so? Killer Instinct one will be current gen, but they could use it as a tease for Ki three. Like maybe that's there's what achievements I'm, in there. That's where I was going. You know, next. that allude to it. So yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, because mm-hmm. that, that's they need launch games for this console. <laughs> yeah. So. yeah. God only knows they're uh, okay. I don't think Ki Three is a good launch title. Definitely right. okay. not. Like it's a current gen title, for sure. All right. Well, we shall see. Uh, all right, Naomi. I know you were just watching this not minutes ago, so it's fresh in your mind. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Mm-hmm. One of the dumbest titles of all time. <laughs> let's yeah. let's not kid ourselves. But the game looks amazing we saw a new trailer coming out of tgs which you can see on ign.com mm-hmm. it's chock full of awesome Chalk, there's so much put stuff that in there. on the box yeah. konami what? <laughs> what 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 so what what do we see in this trailer everything i mean it, it gameplay story all the elements that you yeah, could possibly want to see i guess <laughs> You're, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit it. I didn't watch it yet. You were okay. too busy, busy on today. Monday. I wasn't Rare. busy. That's <laughs> why I was like scrambling to watch Rare? it. But people were watching like at their desks next to me, so yeah. I kind of got a sense. But I wanted to get the full yeah, scope I mean, of it. You see boss fights. Mm-hmm. You see just the weird boss slicing I, arms. Everywhere. I feel <laughs> like I feel like I've seen everything I need to see from that game. I want to try it out yeah. to get a better feel for it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, and I, I and it's to the point where I don't want to watch trailers anymore because I don't want to spoil stuff for me. Me. Well, it's this, funny you say that. Cause yeah, I was I was like, oh, are there English subtitles for this? Cause everything is in Japanese. You won't mm-hmm. get a sense of what's going on. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. No spoilers, exactly. right? But yeah, it's uh, you know, it's Platinum Games who've never really done us wrong. Those oh, guys. Yeah. I mean, they, mm-hmm. they they know what they're doing. And the game's out in February. There's so much hype. And I think. Uh, <laughs> do you guys ever go on blackout mode for games? Like this is this is it a does world, I do but like. Mass Effect, I was like, I don't want to watch any more trailers. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Like, yeah. Uh, I'm doing that for The Last of Us, but that's going to be impossible. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Given what my was, job. I'm trying to remember the last game I did that for. It was something semi recent, and now I'm blanking out. Oh, well. But yeah, it is. It's it's sort of an occupational hazard in mm-hmm. our line of work. It's very yeah. difficult to black so out a, yeah. on, uh, you know, except for our. You they, know, I think companies have gotten better about not ruining things, you know, but um, they want to tease you just a little bit. Absolutely. And so, yeah. They want to get people pumped. Yeah. Without, but so, that, yeah, now I wonder after this trailer. Mm hmm. So you're saying, Destin, you, you're done. You don't need to see any more. Just shut it down. Just, I don't need to you see any more. You got your pre order in. I need to play it. I don't yeah. have my pre order in. I'm going to rent it. I'm trepidatious about this one. I, mm. I just watched this and. I thought back to two years ago at the Microsoft E3 press conference where it was a tech demo of slicing watermelons. Oh, so <laughs> good. We, we, and it was like the yeah. greatest watermelon slicing ever. Yeah. It's like we've come a long way from slicing them watermelons. Yeah. <laughs> now to I now. Want watermelon. Thanks, Ryan. That's, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Summer's I'll almost bring over. Yeah. Watermelon and cupcakes next time. How's yeah. that? Yes. There you go. <laughs> but um, it'll be a pate. Yeah, this 
if you watch this trailer, which I highly recommend, mm-hmm. it really looks like the real Ninja Gaiden 3 mm-hmm. to me, where it's just hardcore action, crazy boss fights. You just transitioned from Metal Gear Rising Revengeance to Ninja Gaiden. Do you like how I did that? Yeah. You were. <laughs> yeah. I'm a slick professional. Oh, you were, you were doing the transition thing. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> oh, I blew it. Desta. So, <laughs> Ryan Way. In a few days, <laughs> making Ninja Gaiden Z with Spark Unlimited. Yeah, so uh, Ken J. Inafune. Are you going to read your note? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to read the note. You have to read that. I'm going to read. Just let me get to the joke. Let me build it up a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, let me set this up. So uh, Inafune, the creator of Mega Man, Mm -hmm. he was, of course, Capcom veteran for years and years and years. Xbox fans who who are maybe super young and are like, what's Mega Man? First first of all. They know what Mega Man. No one listens. Stop it. Yeah. But second of all, yes, Dead Rising, Lost Planet, Mm -hmm. uh, Inafune was largely responsible for Capcom's best stuff early in the Xbox 360 generation before he sort of really kind of fell, he came to, came, uh, I don't want to say came to blows, not physically, but just (laughs) no longer, yeah. Got along. With you know what? The, if you Capcom don't know folks. who he is, just pretend he made Mass Effect and Gears of War. <laughs> he had influences in all those games. So respect this guy. It could, is be, all I'm it could be argued. He is. <laughs> I got to talk to him at GDC. He's a great guy. But um, so yeah, he left Capcom, started his own thing called Concept, and it's like, okay, what what's this guy going to be making? It's like he was talking about maybe I'll do some iPhone games, but I do want to do AAA stuff too. And here's his first AAA game. So he's partnered with. Uh, Tecmo on a game called Ninja Gaiden Z, which in which you play someone who was killed by Ryu, the hero of Ninja Gaiden. Is it Ninja Gaiden Sigma? Like, isn't Z also a symbol for something? Never mind. No, it's Z. It's okay. just just go right. with it's Z Z Z. <laughs> not, well, not well then, what's, then my next question is, what's with all the Z's? I was trying to give them an out, but yeah. Daisy, War Z, Ninja Gaiden Z. Everything is it's, Z. It's Zombie like, U Z. It's just like how in the the late nineties everything was like Ultra sixty four. Two thousand and you know, big numbers and yeah. extreme with yeah. spelled with just X T R E M E, you know, X. that kind of crap. Yeah. But uh so Ninja Gaiden Z is it's a it's sort of a side story offshoot Ninja Gaiden game where you're actually pursuing ryu to try and kill him because you're undead you're trying to avenge your own death and there's a bunch of zombies in it and there's a trailer up on ign it doesn't show gameplay but it shows a very interesting uh cart uh, cartoony is the wrong word sort of a cel-shaded um a cel-shaded anime a looking cartoony well cartoony <laughs> makes it makes it sound like Kiddish. Kitty. the smurfs la, yeah. la, 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 yeah. la. like no not that kind of all that <laughs> the smurfs Animated. slaughtering the undead would be kind of awesome come to think about it we must make that game. <laughs> <laughs> Smurf this! And then just slashing through. That'd be hilarious. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. Where did I leave off with this? So, yeah. it's This sounds great, right? It's like this cool art style. Inafune, yeah. the creator of Mega Man, leading the effort on a Ninja Gaiden game where you're trying to kill Ryu. Right, so yeah. you're getting you're getting excited. Pants mm-hmm. are tightening a little bit for the guys, for the ladies. You know, whatever happens with you guys, you ladies, I'm not sure. I don't understand the female body. But um, anyway, yeah. So then you find out that the game is being co-developed by Spark Unlimited, the creators of such game, such legendary games as legendary the box you guys probably don't even know what that is because i, I do actually I i'm don't, sorry you're better off not yeah. knowing okay. <laughs> and turning point fall of liberty a couple of early xbox 360 generation classic pieces yeah i that used means good classic air means quotes good, right? major air quotes <laughs> but these guys do not have a track record so it's just like yeah and suddenly a million nerd boners went flaccid. That's <laughs> that's really the moral of, of this announcement. Is It's all on Inafune because Spark does not inspire any confidence. Mm. Mm. I hate I hate to I hate to paint it on them, but hey, they've earned they've earned the crappy reputation. It's uh I know making games is hard and I can't do it. That's why but that's why I get to sit here and make fun of Spark and their crappy output and tell them that they made my boner flaccid <laughs> so it's up to them to get me standing tall again 
innuendos. Naomi's never coming back on this show, by the way. She's just like inching towards the door. How can I escape? Like, I'm petrified. Sexual harassment. <laughs> he moving just on, talked about moving his, on he from just, the sexual harassment. He just talked about his dong for an hour. <laughs> uh, all right. What, uh, what's going on here? Microsoft hires oh, yeah. former CBS executive Nancy Tellum to oversee a Los Angeles production studio mm. where they're going to make, quote, uh, sort of, it was very vaguely press, mm-hmm. uh, public That's relations That's really exciting. Let's talk about yeah. our favorite Killer Instinct characters instead. Mine's <laughs> Black Orchid, but I like Fulgore, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> who is Nancy? Who is yeah, Nancy? Well, she had a nice him. photo up on the article, yes. is what I remember. And she's from a television broadcast background or something? Yeah, C- she yeah. ran CBS, essentially. Yeah. Oh, and so Microsoft, okay. I guess, backed a Brinks truck up to her house and said, hey, can you come try to get, give us some respectability in the television-y field? Yeah. And the, the way the press release was worded made it sound like uh, they used the word interactive here and there, which Ooh. made me think that she's going to yeah. be making – she's going to be spearheading this L.A. studio where they're going to make more things like Connect. Sesame Street TV. Well, and hold Nat- up. Yeah. What about their smart glass initiative? Maybe she's working with that. Entirely possible. Yeah, you might have forgot that little nugget of. I think everybody forgot about smart glass. So can you can you uh, explain what this smart glass is? Destiny. You don't know. I don't know. Uh, so during their E three press conference, they talked about like how you can have a tablet and interact with the television. It's their, kind of their competition for the Wii U. Oh, and right. um, you know you can like do your plays on the piece of glass. Mm-hmm. You can have two players. It looks freaking awful draw the only draw game madden I, plays the only game i saw that had cool smart glass integration was Watch Dogs. like oh, right. uh, they had some really cool stuff where it like tracked your progress oh yeah and you could see like w- where your friends were in the game and like it looked really neat so yeah so she yeah she could be so she's gonna that. make some connect and smart glass games. That's great, Nancy. For next gen, obviously. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah. just coming over now. So well, well, I'm being very cynical, but uh, no, you know, I, maybe she's gonna do some good stuff. We saw that armrest thing that they might be making. Microsoft. Yeah, the this wearable week. controller. Yeah. That they have the patent for, but <laughs> mm-hmm. so anyway, Microsoft definitely spending some money trying to trying to get serious about TV related things. I mean, let's hope it's it's better than the PlayStation show. Uh, the game tester show that sony did remember oh, yeah. that yeah yeah oh do i ever <laughs> yeah. uh let's talk about something more interesting destin you love yeah bioware is, oh so much so this did, did this big. break your heart it didn't break my heart it was a little like holy crap you know it's one of those stories where you see it and uh if you don't know what we're talking about the bioware co-founders ray mazyaka and greg music Zeschuk. Is it music? Is it music? Musica and Zeschuk, yes. <laughs> Muzyaka. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> wow. How do you say it? I honestly it's, don't no, know. No, it's Musica. It's Ray Musica. Yeah, I've interviewed him a bunch of times. Oh, okay. I've never known That's how to a say cool his last name, name before. Actually. I've never heard anybody say his name before properly. Hmm. So I never knew that. Okay. Now I know how to say it. Dr. <laughs> Ray Musica. You've learned just as he's Greg exiting the business. Zeschuk yeah. are retiring. Right. Yeah. I, they're out. From Bioware. They're like the they're, dudes who made Bioware. It's, they're the ones they're, who they're yeah, the soul of the company. They're, they're dropping the mic Chris Rock style and just yeah. walking off stage. I'm out. Like, what kind of shock do you think this is for the employees at Bioware? I, well, if you, in the announcement, uh, yeah. they, they both wrote blog posts on Which Bioware's I read. website. Yeah. Yes. yeah, they were awesome. So give us give us the Cliff's Notes podcast friendly version, Naomi. Okay. Well, uh, I think it's if if I'm not mistaken, Ray is moving on to um, Bruce some beer. Oh, that's uh, Greg. <laughs> or Greg. Greg. Okay. Yes. And the other, well, Ray then is um, moving on to some businessy type communications thing that I can't really describe. Yeah. I don't even remember what it was. Yeah. It, now, it was vague. Ray is the <laughs> one. Why? That- Ah, oh, sorry. Well, okay, so my, my they theory on why... They time with their families. They my, can do that now. Well, for, number one, okay, these guys have major FU money. Yeah. They, remember, BioWare was sold to EA for $800 million. Yeah. They, even if they get, even if they each got... Even, like, a okay. A tiny, you know, probably, I'm sure they each got... A, they were, they, those guys must each be worth at least $10 million. Yeah. At least. Okay, well, like... Let me just talk about that for a second. Like I'm a, I feel and like they live I'm in a, Canada, where it's I, like free. <laughs> yeah, but I, they are not Canadian, are they? Judging oh, by their last, no, they're Canadian. They're yeah. Canadian. They're from Edmonton. 
Wow. So I feel like I'm a creative person. Like I like doing videos and stuff like that. And like they built Bioware to be creative types. And right. like mm -hmm. they're going out to join an electronics firm and brew beer. Yeah. You know, like and that's spend just, time with their families. It, well, yeah, they can they can do all that and still run Bioware and still have that creative aspect of their lives. For me, yeah. that would be so hard to let go of ever. You know. But think about it. Try to look at it from their perspective, though. They've spent. Uh, Bioware was founded in 1995. 20 years. Almost. Maybe they're just at a point where they're so disconnected from the creative portion that well, they're just like, I want out. I'm done. I think you're yeah. on to something, number one, yeah. because remember, th th neither one of them has done... They've both been v upper management for right. years now. Yeah. They haven't they have been on the, the cool part of the company. Exactly, yeah. exactly. They, they haven't had a direct... Creative Impact. hand in yeah. Bioware yeah. And actually, in a long time. Yeah, Greg talked a lot about that in his blog post. I remember. And uh, and number two, like you know, think about it this way, Destin. I mean, yeah, you love doing what you do, but once you've been doing it for twenty years and completely mastered it, like you have, you have reached the top of your game, the top mm -hmm. of your field. Well, yeah, you think you'd still feel the same way? Maybe you'd there's just be like, always new things to create. You know, it's the whole point of creating something. You know, well, maybe they want to. Maybe one or both of them wants to just start over, build something new, and yeah, that, you know, that's pretty much what they talked about. That their would boss, make actually. more sense. That would make more sense than uh, brewing beer and running an electronics firm. <laughs> well, he know. wants to start a, a company. Obviously, it's not just about you know for beer? his own. Uh, sorry, just doing beer. Yeah, just selling and brewing his own beer. His How own old brand. are these guys? Uh, they must be mid to late forties by now. Yeah. If not, if not early fifties. And given, given I'm not going to say anything horrible, a, but that's middle of your life. <laughs> right, but I mean, when you have the money, you can retire <laughs> earlier. It, it, that's yeah. the, one of the advantages of being so successful. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm just very shocked. Yeah. I'm pretty shocked. Aww. And like, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't think we've heard the last of them. I just, I find it so hard to believe that these figures are just right. going to like disappear because they've been such a big part of the industry for so long. If I'd planned ahead properly on this show, which is rare, <laughs> uh, I would have had for this bit a craft beer for all of us yeah. and we could have poured one out for Greg who is now in going to go into beer. In yeah. Yeah. He's, he's going to go into the beer field. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I guess I'll, you know, wish them the best of luck and uh, thank them for the years of you Absolutely. Know, entertainment yeah. they've delivered I mean, us to this They were point. very gra grateful for, obviously, for And I'm grateful they... that they made their company. Yeah, you know, yeah. In, all, in all seriousness, uh, if you're too young to remember, Naomi. Uh, <laughs> Destin, you're, you're, you probably remember like I do. I mean, really, the role-playing game genre was pretty... It was really at its low point. It was, it was very not popular. It was not cool. But until and when they started Bioware, I think those guys get a lot of credit for really reestablishing the role-playing game genre as a big-time genre. Yeah. I mean, it's... You know, when mm -hmm. they did Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, those games mm -hmm. were just amazing role-playing games that really put the the genre back on the map mm -hmm. and just yeah canadian pride represent right <laughs> yep naomi and i are canadian <laughs> you're canadian We're too both yeah. Canadian. Yeah. what am i so, doing so on this? And Mitch yeah. is canadian. oh my god i'm surprised <laughs> you ryan all... surrounds himself by canadians <laughs> yeah. at all times if it's possible it's because you're all so nice we are. and i'm such an asshole it i'm takes not like, nice it takes, I, I don't think anyone's ever I know, it like... takes it takes three nice canadians to balance, <laughs> to balance out, out one American? asshole from new jersey <laughs> oh my god uh I, it all it's makes fine. sense now yeah all right. Uh, so yes, we wish the best to doctors Ray and Greg, and mm -hmm. um, yeah, they're those guys are living. They're going to be just fine. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm not about worried them. about them. You know, uh, two more. Oh no, one more story because we I was already. Anxious. Yeah, you already Speaking jumped the gun. Of, yeah. But yes, this is actually a, it. Bioware. Actually, flows better this way. It, it does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. Fix things. Naomi, tell us about Dragon, Dragon Age. Age three. Yeah. So that was one of the announcements. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and we missed the Mass Effect thing, too. So let's roll them both in the future yeah. of oh, Bioware. Yeah, Naomi, you know, Dragon Age, go for it. Dragon Age 3, yeah, Inquisition. It's coming out. Um, no one expects the know. Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. I actually have <laughs> I not. Even... <laughs> I'm going to yell that the whole time I'm playing into the game. No one. In... <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. Now. <laughs> I want to like recut that trailer like with some Monty Python stuff in there. Oh wait, oh, wait great. for it, IGNers. Yeah. It's gonna come. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I actually haven't looked up much about it. I don't know the details. There's no footage or anything. Well, no, on that's it, the, so. the big thing. Though, it's what is about the Frostbite two engine. 
Yeah, oh, they're, yeah. They're yeah not, I even reported that on the fix. They're not using their own tech. They're mm-hmm. using Frostbite, which, of course, is EA's technology via yeah from dice so via it's battlefield gonna look awesome it's gonna not just awesome like top of the line amazing right. and dragon age 2 had its flaws <laughs> yeah and the other uh, the other part of this by the way is that no platforms were specified but they mm-hmm. did say oh late 2013 so i'll give you two guesses as to what system this is coming mm-hmm. out on mm-hmm. and it's late 2013 yeah yeah so. xbox 720 in case yeah. you didn't guess and uh, also in the whole Bioware post, they also yes. uh, hinted at more Mass Effect content. Yeah, the the general I think they manager. Much but, said that's, it. but that's like no duh. Like yeah. they've been saying that. I don't even like, think it's hinted anymore. It's just kind of like okay, like, yes, Mass yeah, Effect. Like, you're not killing your most popular franchise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Smart move. You know, yeah. it's uh, it's a given. So I already have my philosophy for. So like, are you Mass my- Erect? Let's talk about <laughs> boners some more. <laughs> Oh my god. It doesn't end. Yay, I love this. But I have a prediction for the next game. Shepard's yeah. gonna survive, you know, uh like it'll go with the you know, the de- destroy ending. He will okay. survive and uh but he'll be in a wheelchair, but he'll give you advice from the sidelines. He'll have a shaved head and uh He's you don't seriously think he'll that he'll have like five people with various powers. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm saying Mass Effect 4 is going to have a Professor X type figure and have a group of. He's saying Bioware is X. making. Bioware, do not do that. Just come in for me. Please listen. Can we get fan art of that? Bio- you, can do, you can do that on your own. You yeah. know, Bioware did once make a Sonic RPG, so what's to stop them from, from you know getting the license and doing an X Men role playing game? How'd that Sonic RPG do? Actually, I think it was all right. Really? I, I don't know. I what was it called? Uh, like Dark Chronicles or something? Oh, I heard of that. I yes, don't remember guys, that. It's in your brain I remember somewhere. the title. <laughs> was it on the it. Dreamcast? DS. Oh, no. Yeah, it was a handheld. Oh, I remember that one. I remember it now, yeah. Yes. It happened. It exists. Wow. I forgot you can buy it. totally about that. Good marketing. Whoever <laughs> was in charge of that. <laughs> so, anyway, yes. Mass Effect will return on Xbox mm-hmm. 720. Dragon Age 3 Inquisition for Xbox 720. Possibly even as a launch title for Xbox. That would actually make a sweet launch title. Mm-hmm. Especially mm. if if the Frostbite engine is just unleashed upon the console. So, so many cool stuff. I'll bet you can probably pre- pre-order it now and have like the first pre-order ever if you were to <laughs> run out and do that. Marketplace. What can we spend our money on, Ms. Kyle? Borderlands 2. That's right. That's it. That's it. That's, <laughs> all, no, just kidding. That's all she needs to know. Well, everything else seems meh. Well, to it's, it's tough to stand up to Borderlands 2. How yeah. dare you forget Connect Nat Geo TV? Or it's Sesame national, Street TV. It's a National Geographic game where you can watch National Geographic and yell moose when you see a moose. And then the moose comes out on your thing and you're like, you saw a moose. Good job. Find other animals. Is that Yay. actually what happens? That is actually what happens. Did you I watched it? the trailer you for You watched it. the trailer. Yeah. Okay. And I was like... Wow, that's something. And then uh, it's not for you, dude. Yeah. It's for, it's for five-year-olds. Yeah, your little kid cousin or something. Christmas gift I pu- for your. Cousins. Are they being punished? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like I can uh, educate them by not being. Hey, on fun. I thought I used to read those National Geographic magazines back in the oh, day. I thought those were cool. Because that's the only thing my school had. That's why I read them. It's like, well, that's because we're oh, both look, from Canada, Destin. Yeah, that's all we're I know. You guys were flipping through looking for the pictures of the topless tribeswomen, right? <laughs> why would Naomi be looking for that? <laughs> you know. No, I'm just kidding. Why not? <laughs> we all know that's what you were doing now, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, now we know how Ryan's childhood when you're in When you're in fifth grade, that you take what you get, right? No, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're perverted. It's, just, it's terrible. What else we got? F1 2012. Let's talk about Killer Instinct some more. <laughs> <laughs> Orchid. Ah, she had a move where she flashed guys, and then they died because they were in shock. That was what pretty did, cool. Did a... Did a monster pop out of there? No, she turns away from the screen, goes like this, then their eyes come out and they fall over. It was really like campy and silly and stupid. Wow. Yeah. She turned into a tiger. Anyway, moving on, (laughs) we also have Connect Sports Ultimate. Ultimate? For $50? 50 bucks. I think it's just a it's a bundle of the the two. Is that that's rare. That's what rare is. That's rare. Your boys are rare. Good loop in from Killer Instinct. That's right. And then uh, Naomi, you want to get the last one? Sesame like, Street no. TV. Yeah, it's the same thing as Nat Geo TV. You just Elmo loves you. Give yeah. you give me your wallet. 
Well, didn't Double Me Fine make cookie. a really good <laughs> Sesame Street Me game, though? Me your wallet. What? Uh, <laughs> Double Fine made a really good Sesame Street game, didn't they? They did, and yeah. uh, it it bombed. Oh, really? Unfortunately. Like, as Poor, but it, from here on out, Double Fine is It's like A-okay. they're cursed. They make great things. Yeah, I think that, they're okay with their $12 million. Well, yeah. people might be, be going back. I mean, we got to wait for this Double Fine adventure thing to come out. And then... Once Upon a Monster was the name of that game, by yeah, the way. Yeah, that's what it was. They're, I'm going to play that. <laughs> I'm going to mark it down. There. Naomi's writing down. It actually play. was really good, and it's great. It's a great parent kid game because mm-hmm. you play together. You like hold hands and do the little obstacles well, and mm-hmm. dance and stuff. Because it's bombed, do you think we're not going to see um, stuff like that? Well, I know for a fact that uh, there was a sequel being in development that got canceled because of the game didn't sell enough. There was a there was a Once Upon a Monster two that was that was canned yeah mm-hmm. sadly so i'll get my cousins to play it uh on live arcade we have jet set radio speaking of old games destin yeah jet i know set radio. that's a good one a lot yeah, of people are really for hyped. sure for sure and a new game for 15 bucks called realms of ancient war which i want to try out because it's a diablo style game it's a hack and slash loot game so give those remember as always loot 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 there's all a, you need to do to click, loot click. is Borderlands 2. Click. Yeah. <laughs> I'm all you need, mood. Yeah. All There's you, a demo of RE6 now in the all, marketplace. All you need to loo is Borderlands 2. Right? <laughs> just drop the T. But then loo is like a term for bathroom. All you need no, to toilet is Borderlands. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> well, that would be the Vita version, right? Yeah. <laughs> One you can play on the can. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking I about? You, I thought that was a slight at the Vita for a second. I. Are we, what are we suggesting? Flushing your Vita down the toilet? I'm not sure. <laughs> that it's toilet? I don't oh, know. I, 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 I don't know. I didn't know where you were going with it's that. It's a beautiful piece of technology yourself. that I refuse to pay hundreds of dollars for. Yeah, and I think a lot of people. Anyway, moving on. Playable demos of Resident Evil 6, Connect Sports Ultimate Collection, and Fable, Fable the, the Journey. Journey. Fable the Journey, a game I'm uh, curious about, to say the yeah, least. Yeah, that article you wrote was... Um, yeah, I've got a, a, I Yeah, I played all the Fable games. and Me too. I'm still... Whatever, I'll try it. I miss, okay. I miss the dog. I don't have an attachment to a horse the same way that I like dogs. The dog yeah. was the cutest. See, you know what I'm talking about. All I, ever, I threw all my I ball remember off a cliff. Is... He got brought it back. That's a badass <laughs> dog. It'll get through anything with you. Yeah. It's there yeah. for life. Ride your horse, cast some spells in the Fable the Journey demo. I'm gonna demo. eat your doggy. That's all I remember. And uh, yeah, check out my preview of Fable the Journey. I got to play the first couple hours of the game. And What did you think? Uh, I I actually I the sum the summary version is I actually really like it mm-hmm. when it works yeah because uh, typical with connect it just freaks out from time to time mm. and I would start trying to you know you cast your spells with your hands of mm-hmm. what uh, you know you got one in each hand and it would just start I would start trying to aim trying to you know aim to the middle of the screen and no matter what I would do the spell would just go it would just go fly to the right. The, the outermost edges of the screen, so I just couldn't hit anything. It would mm-hmm. just, and but and then it'd recalibrate the game, and then it would work again. But then it would, then after a while, it would. St- that seems very uh, distracting. Yeah, it's, that's. They, they have a weird. Read the read the preview. It yeah. sort of goes into why uh, mm-hmm. that happens, and hopefully we can find can a way for it. it. Yeah, for a way for it to not happen. So, uh, yes, Fable the Journey preview. All right, let's take a short break. God, we've been rattling on for forty five minutes already. I thought this was going to be a quick show. Well, let's come back and test your guys' Xbox trivia knowledge, and then we will get out of here, I promise. Unlock lock. Can you take on the challenge? Yeah! An interview this week? Nope, no interview this week. Oh. We skip instead right to the unlock block. Good, my favorite. Your favorite segment, and I love playing this game with Naomi Kyle because she's such a wild card. Like I'm still, you know, we've I've worked here for a few months. I'm still getting to know you though, because you know, you, right. it's like you work on the opposite side of the office. We just kind of wave back and forth from time to time. So, what are your Xbox skills, really? My Xbox skills. I I will say I did what? see you playing I when I came over to say, yeah. hey, let's go podcast. You were playing Mark of the Ninja. I love it so, so much. My respect for you went up by yeah. like a million. T- like I already totally respect you, but I was like, you're playing Mark of the Ninja. I like you. You yeah. can stay. Yeah, I I love. I played the the Shanks. 
Yes, and, uh, plays other games. Yeah, so so this one, I just I just like the way it plays. It's actually way better than Shake. Anyway. I, yeah, I, it's um, just because so of the stealthiness and like the way you move and you go through like you hide behind doors and stuff. It's really cool. Have you gotten the cardboard box yet? I haven't. Oh my god, <laughs> got to get the cardboard box. <laughs> yeah, so great. Um, but my skills, I, I'm I like I said, I always tell people I'm not a good shooter player. Like. Although I'm playing Borderlands 2, which is totally... Guys, we're going to see how that goes. I apologize. I'm being pulled away. But my guess is uh, <laughs> Hammer and Spike, even though I know they both have blue and red tattoos, meaning uh, I was very tempted to go with Blue Dragon and I love red that Dragon. I haven't even said the question yet, so our yeah. listeners are going, what? Yeah. Destin what Legary, everybody. About? Follow him <laughs> at Destin oh. Legary on Twitter. Uh, such is the way of life at IGN. Yep. It's just, it never stops. Never stops moving. So... Um, um, you are too young for this question. That's well, you know what? I actually, at PAX, got to try the the demo that they had there. Of the, the double, new one. Yeah, the Double Good. Dragon Neon demo. All right. So, it, yeah, we have a Double Dragon question. It comes to us from Blake Worrell in yeah. Columbia, Maryland. And it is about Double Dragon. So, Naomi, it's just you and me. And I, I, already, I already cheated. I know the answer because I got right. the guy's email. And now email. Destin uh, probably knows his stuff pretty well. He, so. w- he weighed in. So, uh Blake wins himself a, a copy of Guitar Hero Van Halen for his efforts for getting his question chosen. Yay! And he, he's, uh, he'll win brownie points if he can stump you and maybe Destin, who's already gone, mm-hmm. with this. In the original American arcade version of Double Dragon, which is, God, that's probably like I didn't 86, play. 87. Yeah. I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> you know what? And to be fair, I probably only played the Nintendo version. I doubt I ever played the arcade version. Mm. But anyway, in the original American arcade version of Double Dragon, Billy and Jimmy Lee, the two main characters, were also known as what? Right. Hammer and Spike, which is what which Destin is what has Destin guessed. Which is what Destin said. Yeah. Blue Dragon and Red Dragon. Dragon 1 and Dragon 2, because back then they would just name characters all kinds of weird things. <laughs> or Eagle and Hawk. You want right. to take a stab at this one, maybe from your knowledge of the new one? Right. Uh, I mean, I've really got to play very little of it. I Maybe like five or ten minutes. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, he went with Hammer and Spike, which, I don't know. I, it's hard to question Destin because he's <laughs> just a know-it-all. But I do like the dragon, the mm. blue and red, just how it sounds. Oh man, I don't know. So yeah, do you do you I'm divide and conquer here with uh, and try trying to get? I'm just gonna go with what I think looks and sounds cool. So I'm gonna go with B. But I'm pretty sure Destin's right. You're pretty sure Destin's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, he is. Yes, uh, of he course, got. Yeah, yeah, he got. It's Hammer and Spike. So uh, Blake Worrell, well I done. Lose. You've won yourself a copy of Guitar Hero Van Halen. I also have, if you want it, Blake, we can get in touch. I have a copy of uh, the new Ghost Recon Future Soldier download pack called Ar- wait, Arctic Strike, I think. God, I can't even that get it straight anymore. That actually sounds correct, but I might be wrong. Because <laughs> there was the first one was called Something Else Strike. They've been naming them similar things. All strike. Strike a strike. I just I remember uh, how about Desert Strike that old helicopter game for the Genesis that was good oh, times. Oh shit! Jungle Strike the sequel that was fun. <laughs> Let's bring those back. I love EA. helicopter games. Me too. I used to play them on my PC all Me the time. Me too. Where did the, where have all the helicopter I don't games know. gone? I used to go and save people and stuff. Yeah. What yeah, was uh, the uh, Choplifter? That was the classic one. Choplifter was that the That's one? That's the I one where you go save people yeah. off of rooftops. Off of rooftops, or like there was fire, forest fires too, and probably that also. Was that it? I but don't you were remember. definitely saving people off of rooftops. Okay. And there was a there was a li- a new a remake like a 3D remake for li- that came out on Xbox, but it was not good. No, came I out. wouldn't play a game like that on yeah. Xbox or yeah, on, on a console. I played that game on I think a Commodore 64, which <laughs> was a fine games machine in its time. All, All right. right. <laughs> so if you want to win yourself a copy of Guitar Hero Van Halen and or Ghost Recon DLC pack. Send your Xbox trivia question along with four multiple choice answers. Please note the correct one in your email mm-hmm. so that I know which one's the right one. Mm-hmm. Uh, send all that along with your name and mailing address so I know where to send the prize to unlocked at IGN.com. Wow, I blanked out there for a second. <laughs> like, wait, don't give them my email address. Give them the podcast email address. Unlocked at IGN.com. And we will play again next week when the Mitch Meister returns, I think. He's still in Japan. I don't know if he's ever coming he, home. Yeah, he's going to come back. 
He better. He loves us. He's fired if he's not back here on like you can't fire Wednesday Canadian. morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My visa says you can't That's fire right. me. And I'll try to entice him. I'll tell him that I got cupcakes. So if you're not here. You know what? You get his job if he's not back. Oh, yay. Yeah, you can just work on Xbox. So you can totally so then you have a, fine a better me. excuse to play Mark of the Ninja all day. <laughs> See? Totally. I, I think that works. All right. Uh, IGN.com is the place to be each and every day. Make it your homepage. Better yet, how about the Xbox page of IGN? IGN.com slash mm-hmm. Xbox 360. That is my homepage. That is where where I get to be uh, the curator for the Xbox Museum. Come see which pieces are on display, such um. as Halo 4. Those, it will be, there will be lots of Halo 4 pieces <laughs> on display this weekend. Uh, so I hope you will check that out and enjoy it. Our Xbox Live uh, app, the IGN app. Mm -hmm. So all these crazy videos we've got, like all these Halo 4 videos, there's, gosh, there's campaign video, there's multiplayer developer commentary videos of capture the flag of different multiplayer modes. Just, it's probably best, why hunch over at your computer Fire up the, your Xbox, download our app, and just watch it on your big-ass TV so then it'll look like you're playing Halo 4. You can really see, this is what Halo 4 will look like on my television in a month and a half. Uh, Twitter, that's a fun place. We yeah. spend time there. It's you, my favorite place. You have a lot of followers. You're a popular human being. I, uh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, not any, it's not really any of my doing, but um, yeah, thanks to IGN and thanks to... Yeah, the awesome fans who watch the Daily Fix, they they all like to follow. They show the love. At, they show the love. At Naomi Kyle, all yep. one word, correct? Yep. And you can find me at DMC underscore Ryan and Destin, of course, at Destin Legary, D-E-S-T-I-N-L-E-G-A-R-I-E, because otherwise you might guess wrong. So we'll <laughs> spell it out for you. Um, that's it. I want to thank everybody for listening. I want to thank Destin Legary, who's already bailed. I'm, I'm thank. See, I'm taking the high road. Even though he bailed on us, mm-hmm. I'm thanking him anyway. You are as good as a Canadian. <laughs> Sorry, to always I, bring today, that up. I'm an honorary Canadian. <laughs> it's like a it's like a deputy ship. One Canadian can say to a "You're an honorary Canadian for the day." Nice. We should have that in the office. I I like that yeah. system. It's like a yeah. It's better than our. Better than our my voice my feedback voice. system. My voice, oh lord, yeah. Just be like, hey, I heard about how good a job you're doing, eh? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really offending you right now. No. No. Um, no, not Good, I'm glad. Yeah. Honorary Canadian for the day. I'll take that. Um, I'm Ryan McCaffrey for Naomi Kyle. And thank you for having me, thank by the way, for, Ryan. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Especially yeah. if, because if you hadn't been here and Destin had bailed, I'd be talking to no one and people would be like, He's talking to himself. That's weird. <laughs> so, and talking about boners and stuff. Yeah, to no one. <laughs> Is he talking to his boner? Wait, does he have a boner? What's going on? <laughs> Can we end the show now before Human Re- Resources gets called in and escorts him away in a straitjacket? <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Uh, thanks, everybody, and we'll Bye. see you for episode seventy-three Bye, next guys. week. Bye.